You know, that's one of my beefs with the church is it's like, great, you provided some temporary relief for people on their way deeper into sin, deeper into depravity, deeper into brokenness, right? Great, the potlucks were good, the Sunday services, the worship, the social club, good. But if you're not alleviating the core problem, if you're not addressing true salvation as the church, what the hell are you doing? And like, so it's really about taking the secondary things, making them primary, and taking the primary things and making them secondary. This is what I'm going to address in my new upcoming book, The Healing Way of Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. He also said, the way is narrow and there are few who find it. He also said, enter by the gate. He also told the Pharisees they were shutting the gate in the face of the people they were converting to their empty religion. And Jesus is saying the same thing to the church today. You're shutting the true gate in the face of people as you convert them to your empty Christian religion, which provides some good relief, but doesn't do anything or hardly anything to stop them progressing deeper into hell. Well, how do we get out of hell? What does it really mean to be saved? Jesus said that he was the bread of heaven and that he would become like a wellspring inside us, springing up into eternal life. Paul lays out clearly Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 23. The fruits of the Spirit doing that deep inner work in us will produce in us love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Guys, Great that you have an ideologically driven social club that truly that is of some value and makes you feel like you have a place you belong, a group of people you belong to. You feel like you're learning good Bible truths. That's fine. Secondary. But you've raised it up and said, this is the whole. I got saved. When I die, I'll go to heaven. But right now, I'm just going to continue in this hell and try to make it as comfortable as possible. Well, obviously, that's not what people are thinking, but that's actually what's happening, guys. The church is making people comfortable in hell, telling them, wait till you die, and then you'll get to heaven. Not what Jesus taught. Not at all what Jesus taught. We are in hell now because hell is in here. And in here is where God starts to do that deep work through the Spirit to alleviate and remedy hell. And so, if you are not growing in love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, if you as a Christian are becoming more hateful, more insulated, more self-centered, more self-righteous to people that are outside of your religion, you're not doing a damn thing to address the true problem of hell inside you. And so... That's my critique of the church. It's like, good job, church. You created a nice little click, ideologically driven social club for people, and it did actually make them feel good as they traveled on the way deeper into hell. Why not start to grow into heaven now and get out of hell now? That's what my new book, The Healing Way of Jesus, is going to be about, because God has taken me deep into the hell inside me. Some of the experiences of God revealing the hell inside me, literally, my body, mind, and heart, I felt like I was dying. Uh, sounds like someone on a cross being put to death with Jesus? Absolutely. Guys, you should be experiencing what feels like dying on your way to heaven as God reveals the hell inside you. That is what it means to be crucified with Christ. It's not a metaphor. It's not a pretty picture. It's not a pretty metal Jewelry that you wear around your neck or a wood beam that you hang on the back of the church. Guys, it's real. It's real. Crucifixion is real. Being put to death should feel like you are dying in order to come to life. What's the problem today? Number one, the church is not teaching the way of Jesus. It's lost the way of Jesus. Number two, it's not teaching that suffering is essential and that we actually should be experiencing the death and the hell that's inside us. The church is just saying, oh, 
get baptized, learn some intellectual truths, and when you die, you'll go to heaven. They're not teaching the way of Jesus, which is the way of suffering, which is the way of the cross, which is the way of death, burial, resurrection. They're selling resurrection without death and burial. Death is death, guys. Getting put in a grave should feel like you just died and nothing ain't right yet. And you know what that feels like? It doesn't feel good. If you've got a feel good Christianity, you ain't Christianity. Okay? Of course, this is a lost truth. These are lost concepts. We have the symbols of these things, no longer the depth of the truth. That's what my book, The Healing Way of Jesus, is going to address. The steps and the experiences that I've had these last eight years, which opened up so much hell inside me that there were times I did not know if I would live through these experiences. Why? Because that's the way it is. That's the healing way of Jesus. Healing, guys, is hard. Healing work is hard work. It's painful. It's facing the darkness. And the darkness is every bit inside you. It's not out there somewhere. And those people and those bad people, it's this bad person right here. Every one of us. This is the bad person. This is the work. Okay? Alright. Love you. See ya. any different than the world. Got a pretty Christian veneer, but underneath, just as hateful, just as impatient, just as greedy, just as selfish, and it's not even under the surface anymore. It's evident that Christians are just as bad as worldly people, or sometimes worse because they're self-righteous, and that actually does make you worse, because at least sinners know they're sinners. There's a reckoning coming for the church. There's a reckoning and a rectifying. Judgment begins with God's house first. Amen. See you later.